भारत के कोफाउंडर एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर अश्नी ग्रोवर हैज बीन इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली फॉर कमिटिंग फाइनेंशियल फ्रॉड एंड आल्सो बिकॉज़ ही हैज बीन वन ऑफ द जजेस एकेए शार्क्स ऑन द पॉपुलर रियलिटी शो शार्क टैंक्स इंडिया सो हु इज अश्नी ग्रोवर व्हाट इज भारत पे व्हाई इज ही बीइंग इन्वेस्टिगेटेड लेट्स फाइंड आउट इन दिस वीडियो अश्नी ग्रोवर कोफाउंडर एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ भारत पे हैज डिसाइडेड टू टेक अ वॉलंटरी लीव ऑफ एब्सेंस फ्रॉम द फिनटेक द डिस्प्यूट ऑफ कोर्स बिटवीन अश्नी ग्रोवर एंड कोटक महिंद्रा बैंक ओवर आईपीओ फाइनेंसिंग एस्केलेटेड इन द रीसेंट पास्ट विद द बैंक्स वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट यूनिट प्लेजिंग टू परस्यू लीगल एक्शन ओवर ग्रोवर्स अलेजेड यूज ऑफ अब्यूजिव लैंग्वेज एंड थ्रेट्स भारत पे सेड दैट द कंपनी विल बी लेड बाय इट्स चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर सुहेल शमीर एंड द मैनेजमेंट टीम अश्नी ग्रोवर हैज रिसेंटली बिकम वेरी फेमस आफ्टर ही इज अपीयर्ड ऑन द पॉपुलर रियलिटी शो शार्क टैंक इंडिया Uh, he is known to give very blunt and honest responses uh, to the upcoming entrepreneurs who pitch on the show uh, some fans support his non uh, no nonsense approach and some find him very rude and blunt uh, he is the founder co-founder and managing director of the digital payment app bharat pay which is a, which is an app which is quite similar to paytm and uh, phone pay and uh, before co-founding bharat pay uh, ashneer gover has worked in various roles in top brands uh, such as kotak mahindra uh, pc jewelers grofers and american express Uh, he co-founded Bharat Pay with IIT dropout uh, Shashwat uh, Nakrani in 2008. Ashtir uh, Grover recently found himself in a controversy when an audio clip which was leaked online uh, had him abusing employees of the Kotak Mahindra Bank uh, whom uh, who according to him had uh, failed to provide finances uh, for the IPO of uh, the Indian cosmetics brand Nykaa. Uh, he was also recently uh, found to have committed financial fraud when an indi- independent audit of uh, Bharat Pay found many uh, financial irregularities in terms of hiring uh, employees and a lot of payment was found to be made to vendors who didn't actually exist in reality. Bharat Pay is a fintech company which caters to small merchants and kirana store owners. The products provided by Bharat Pay include an interoperable QR code for accepting UPI payments. Uh, it offers a product called uh, the Bharat Swipe or a POS machine which helps you accept credit or debit card payments. It also lends money to small businesses and it finances those businesses. It has also started a 12% club uh, which uh, uh, through which basically uh, you can lend uh, lend money to others which is basically a P2B or P- P2P or peer to peer lending system. Now how is Bharat Pay different from uh, a phone pay or a Paytm or a Google Pay? Uh, well phone pay and paytm basically uh, focus more on the customer side wherein bharat pay focuses more on the merchant side uh, phone pay and paytm they attract customers by giving them heavy discounts and heavy cashbacks they charge the merchants a 1.5 commission of every on every transaction which is made through their mobile wallet bharat pay on the other end uh, it charges 0% commission from the f- f- from the merchants uh, hence it is a free product uh, for the merchants and it also Uh, provides a unified qr code which can be used across all mobile wallets so previously what was happening is uh, phone pay had its own qr code google pay had its own qr code paytm had its own qr code so if i go to a kirana store and i have phone pay downloaded in my phone but that kirana store only has a paytm qr code so i cannot uh, use my phone pay app to scan the to scan the paytm code so ultimately i had to pay cash out of my wallet which used to defeat the purpose of uh, using uh, a mobile wallet This problem was identified by by co-founder Shashwat Nakrani in 2018 who then came up with Bharat Pay which basically provides a common QR code which can be used across all the mobile wallets irrespective of whether it is phone pay or paytm or google pay also it doesn't charge the merchants any commission uh, so it doesn't uh, put a burden on the merchants pockets uh, in recent time there has been a surge in the user uh, in the usage of mobile wallets uh, this is because mobile wallets uh, they offer greater convenience and security uh, to customers uh, when it comes to online purchases or withdrawal of money from the atm uh, and due to uh, the uh, due to the recent corona virus uh, lockdown uh, there has been a drastic increase in the demand for, uh, demand and usage of uh, these wallets and uh, the mobile wallet industry is expected to grow up to a value of 1.31 trillion dollars by 2023 so in conclusion uh, we can say that uh, bharat pay is a great uh, great platform for the kirana store owners while the other uh, wallets they focus more on the customer side bharat pay is the only one which uh, thinks about the kirana store owners and the merchants and on the other hand also helps them in going cashless and uh, due to the recent safety concerns many customers prefer making online payments and even the business merchants are uh, catching up and adopting to this uh, new change and majority of transactions in kirana stores are traditionally cash based cash based transactions this is mainly because these transactions are usually small ticket transactions and customers as well as kirana store owners feel more comfortable uh, uh, doing a cash to cash transaction uh, before the advent of mobile payment systems cashless transactions had to be processed using a combination of pos machine and a debit or credit card 
these systems are costly investments for store owners as they usually have to pay a certain uh, percentage of the transaction to the uh, credit card company some kirana stores are still apprehensive in adopting the online model uh, because they fear uh, getting trapped in some sort of a financial fraud they they also fear that if they commit a mistake they may be uh, investigated they may be questioned and also uh, they fear being tracked by the government and uh, have certain safety issues and security concerns uh, it is not the question of whether kirana stores want to go cashless and adopt the method of digital payments it is more that the kirana stores now need to go cashless it is not just a factor of adapting to new trends and changing with times it is a question of benefiting out of it some kirana store owners uh, they provide credit to their customers like customers have their uh, what what is known as a khata or an account in a kirana store owners uh, this helps the kirana store owners in building a better customer base this is not possible if they switch to a digital payment app hence they prefer uh using some amount of cash in hand and not going completely cashless uh, hey guys uh, thank you so much once again uh, for uh, watching my video i hope you like this video and uh, what are your thoughts about bharat pay uh, should your local kirana store go completely cashless what are you your views on this uh, please let me know in the comments below uh, also if there are more such friends you would like uh, me to talk about please let me know also please uh, share your feedback on how you like this video i'll see you in the next video bye bye